Do you think you should know how to variable flip before tray flip? If so, why? Is that because the tray flip spins 360 degrees while variable flip does 180 degrees? Sure, it seems like a variable flip is in the middle of a learning ladder of a tray flip. Then you might think you just have to adjust the use of a backflip to decide which one to do. However, as a person who loves both of these tricks, I beg to differ. In my case at least, they flip due to completely, completely different mechanics. Because of how they look, there has been this misunderstanding as if you can choose which trick to do by only changing the way you use your backflip. As a result, the truth has always been hiding behind their appearance. Let's study the secret behind it scientifically. By the way, you're watching Why the Trick. Warning, controversy alert. Mechanics of these tricks may vary depending on the setup you board and your body structure. So I'll just talk about how I do it, but I promise I will do so as objectively as possible. You have been warned. Conclusion first, in my case, a varial flip flips because of a flick of my front foot. And a tray flip flips because of the bounce of my rear truck. Therefore, although they might share the same movement at some points, they are not on the same learning ladder. Let's talk about them a bit more in detail. Starting from the varial flip. It is much of a combination between a kick flip and a pop shove it. Aside from minor adjustments in the direction of my flick, and perhaps my weight distribution, it is pretty much a combination of these tricks. As an evidence for example, when I pop the tail too hard and my front foot misses my board, it either becomes a pop shove it or half pressure flip. With that said, my front foot is the sole reason why my board flips in my barrel kick flips. On the other hand, the role of my back foot is quite simple. It pushes down the tail straight toward the ground. It may look like I'm scooping my back foot, but I'm just trying to kick straight down, and I'm not trying to twist it inward, not intentionally at least. The 180 degrees rotation on my board is just a product of my weight being on the toe side and kicking straight down, not because of a scoop of my back foot. So while the role of my back foot is quite simple, it really depends on how I use my front foot in my varial kick flips. On the control in my tray flips, things are a bit different. Just like I said in the previous video, my front foot leaves my board even before it has any chance to give a flick. Then I also said, the reason why my board flips is because of the bounce of my rear truck, not because of a flick of my front foot. We also talked about the importance of the scoop in order to fully utilize the force of the bounce. Farther to scoop effectively. I also said I focus on the Z-axis or vertical axis rotation, not horizontal swing of my back foot. Just so you know, then someone told me that it can't be the reason why my board flips, saying he can't flip his board even when he gives a scoop to his board while he's standing on the ground still. This is so true, absolutely true, that we can't flip our boards when we are standing on the ground. Or, more precisely, when our boards don't have any momentum. The point is, when the board is in the state of staying still, the bounce of the rear track is too weak to flip the entire board around. But think about it, when you scoop the tail, your board goes up and down in a form of parabola. Right around the top of the parabola, the board's weight becomes light enough for the bounce of the rear track to flip it. So, although the bounce of the rear track itself is generally not strong enough to cause a flip when my board is not moving, but by giving my board upward momentum, it can. And the only thing I have to do is to give my board a good scoop so that I can both temporarily lighten the weight of my board, 
and let the red truck bounce it back up, which consequently flips it. And as for the front foot, it doesn't do much. At least, it doesn't directly cause a flip. All it does instead is to hold my board down, while my back foot gives enough scoop to it. So in summary, in a very old flip, try to focus on the flick of your front foot, which is a direct reason why your board flips. And in a tray flip, scoop is everything. And by scoop, imagine that you twist your back foot around the vertical axis. Once again, this is not the only way to pull them off. Depending on your setup, your body weight, your body structure and everything, you want to adjust the way you do it. For example, you might want to use your front foot more in your tray flip. Or you might want to use your back foot more and give harder scoop in your varial flip. What have I said in this video is just how I do these tricks. Nonetheless, hopefully I could give you a different perspective. And that's all for this episode. Please make sure to visit my website, where you can see and interact with the 3D models you saw in this video. Thank you so much for watching, until next time.